Ferlin Thompson, give it up. Thank you very much. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. To get my honky tonk diploma I was hungry, young and hungry And I was looking for an offer and Miss Loretta Lynn, she took me in That sweet coal miner's daughter But she never did do one of my songs And one day she told me, now darling she said you should hang around with guys like Holyfield and Harlan. Now before I go any further, I want to explain who I'm talking about when I say Holyfield and Harlan. A lot of times people think I'm talking about that boxer, Evander Holyfield. I'm talking about a great songwriter, an old boy by the name of Wayland Holyfield, comes from Arkansas, and he's written some beautiful songs, romantic songs like Could I Have This Dance for the Rest of My Life? Romantic songs like Rednecks, White Socks, and Blue Ribbon Beer. <laughs> Great songwriter, kind of took me under his wing and, and uh, I owe him the world. So that's who I mean when I say Holyfield. When I, when I say Harland, I'm talking about Harlan Howard. Harlan wrote everything else. <laughs> and that's why Loretta Lynn said, now darling, you should hang around with guys like Holyfield and Harlan. She said they go to lunch and they smoke cigars and they'll drink a glass of brandy. She said they write big hits and they leave big tips and spend their evenings with their families. She didn't tell me just how far I had to go In this show we call the business In this business we call show Hickory Holler Mall and I played at Union Station and I learned to do my little Johnny Cash impersonation and then one night he walked out of the back it was him and Miss June Carter and he said son I have heard better you yeah, but not one who tries harder so I put that I said, man, I'm in this show we call the business. It's a business we call show. Well, it was Waylon that introduced me to a Mr. Jimmy Gilmer of the Fireballs. And together they convinced me that I could do it all. Yeah, but later it would come to pass I could not play that part. But I just would not kiss nobody's to get my records on the charts. Yeah, but my mama, she's still waiting while oh, she listens by the radio. I say, Mama, it's just a show we call the business. It's just the business we call show. So here's to all my music brothers and 
to my music sisters too. Here at home and on the road, this one goes out to you. And when the print gets fine on the bottom line, don't give away your soul. To this show we call the business, to this business we call show. It's just a show we call the business, y'all. It's just a business we call show. Well, thank you. So, so now you know you know a little bit about me. You know uh, that was, as the song says, uh, 30 years ago, going on 31 years ago. I, I uh, came to the big city of Nashville, and uh, and so luckily I uh, I ran into an old boy by the name of Guy Clark, a big tall Texas songwriter, storyteller. And he said, come go on the road with me. I'll show you that you don't need all those, uh, you don't need backup singers and, and buses and, and a band and a payroll. He said, all you need is a bunch of good songs. And you take them out there to the people. And uh, I'm so glad I met him because uh, that's what I started doing. And uh, not long ago, I wrote this little song for, for me and Guy, actually. It's a... Uh, it's a list of some of the places we've, we've gone and played over the years. Uh, I actually have about 15 pages of lyrics, but I, I'm not going to do them all tonight. I'm going to do, this is a list of 43 places that we've played, and, and you might recognize some of them. From poor David's in Dallas to the Gallatin Palace, the Cactus Cafe, the palms and the birch the blue bird the gray eagle the tin angel iron horse and of course the grand old mother church the station in exit in fruit again michigan flat rock and round rock and little rock jacks dublin to tullamore the down home and the troubadour long as they want us we'll keep coming back you see, we ain't been everywhere, but we're trying to get there. If you let us tune up, we'll throw down a set. Book us a room, we'll be in your town soon, because we ain't been everywhere yet. There's the ark and the handlebar, wolf trap in the apple farm, Poonies Hill Country and St. Augustine. At the foot of Denali and down on the Swanee, and that night I can't talk about in New Orleans. On live freedom radio, the Birmingham's out of cold Reno and Conroe and somewhere in France. A bunkhouse in Brenham and the barns of Vienna and the riding arena at the real South Fork Ranch. Yeah, we ain't been everywhere, but we're trying to get there. If you let us tune up, we'll throw down a set. Book us a room, we'll be in your town soon, because we ain't been everywhere yet. Strawberry festivals all The Liberty Lunch And the Fireman's Kitchen And finally Jamming at Hippie Jack's Here with y'all hey! I said we ain't been everywhere But we're trying to get there If you let us tune up We'll throw down a set So book us a room We'll be in your town Cause we ain't been everywhere No, 
but we're sure trying to get there. You see, we ain't been everywhere. tell you about Don. Don Vernon, that's my dad. He comes from the other part of the state, over in the western part of the state, where it's flat and the wind blows and uh, oh, it's beautiful in its own way. It's got, you know, the, 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 the prairie grass and the, the red canyons and uh, the sunsets are unbelievable. And, uh, and that's where they settled, Darweta and, and Don. Settled out there and uh, started raising me and my brother. And I asked my dad one time, I said, Dad, why don't you just pack up, come to Tennessee? They got the beautiful rolling hills out there. And, and you could bring, bring your cattle herd out here. You could make a killing. He said, no, nah, I ain't going nowhere. He's one of those guys that like tougher it gets, the more he likes it, because it s separates the men from the boys, I guess, you know. Well, the constant wind across the sand, it can whittle down the toughest man. And the cold sneaks underneath the door you don't think you can take no more and that summer sun gets hot as hell and it'll dry up all your wishing wells so you build your dream and wait around for that next blue northern to tear it down and you can't change Cattle County Now you can stay Or you can go But you can't change Cattle County You see the same old wind Will always blow now my dad said, son, I'm gonna tell you right now. He said, you don't have to follow that same old plow. He said, there's a big old world across the county line. And you can come home anytime you change your mind. But you can't change Cattle County. Said you can stay, boy, or you can go, but you can't change Cattle County. You see, the same old wind will always blow. constant wind across the sand he said I deal with it the best I can and what you can't change you get used to until they throw that cattle dirt on you
Thank you. Things have changed now. I met a girl and she came up to me one day and said, Verlin, I've been listening to a bunch of your music and I just, I really love your songs and you got songs about horses and tractors and, you know, everything in the book. But uh, she said, I don't think I've heard anything about me. I said, no, sweetie, uh, you haven't, but, uh, but I'm working on one. I got one in the works. The thing is, you want, it to be, you want it to be perfect, and you know it won't be perfect. So you know you're going to fail, and, and you don't want to fail. You, you, you love this person. You want this to be a wonderful song. So I don't know. I finally, I finally sat down one night and wrote this, and uh, we'll see. It was never a matter of learning the steps or the rhythm or knowing my right from my left. I just never could find the right partner, I guess. I was doing the get to you waltz. Well, I slipped and I swayed when I should have sashayed. Oh, I limped home alone from some sad promenades. But I learned from every mistake that I made that I was doing the get to you waltz. Now there's nothing prettier and there's nothing sweeter than two perfect partners moving as one it's take me it's trust me and it's follow the leader that's the way it's supposed to be done yeah but so many nights i just leaned on the wall i'd find the dark corner at the back of the hall i didn't know at the time, it was all part of doing that get to you waltz. Well, I kept taking partners and just watching my feet go in different directions and missing the beat. And then I'd bow to the ladies and go back to my seat, still doing that get to you waltz. Oh, but then I remember seeing you in the crowd I remember when I took your hand I remember it was like we were dancing on clouds Remember we wore out the band Now we'll dance till the soles of our shoes are thin There ain't no sitting out there ain't no cutting in Now we're together And I'll never again Be doing the get to you waltz No, no more get to you waltz That's the end of the get to you waltz
glad to say that three years ago I played this song in our wedding ceremony. So I think it worked. Thank y'all. I'm going to leave you with one quick one. Is that right, Jack? I'll make her quick, buddy. You, I can't leave without doing a song about a horse. Now, Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride. She was no bag of bones. She was no hunk of hide. And he gave her to me the day that he died. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride When Joe Walker found her she was lonesome and lame Her tail in a tangle, burrs in her mane In the Arbuckle Mountains in a cold pouring rain When Joe Walker found her she was lonesome and lame, y'all Joe Walker rode her for 20-some years. He viewed most of the country between her two ears. He found him a good one, and he never switched gears. Joe Walker rode her for 20-some years. She never reared up. She never broke loose. She'd carry a queen or a Choctaw papoose. Bare back and bridle, no saddle, no use. She never reared up, no, she never broke loose. That hauled him away in the box that he'd built for his burying day. She even dropped her head for the preacher to pray. And then I unhitched the wagon. And they hauled him away. And I never rode her. It just didn't seem right. You know, I brushed her. And I combed her most every night. And I thought about it. But dream as I might, I would not ride her. It just didn't seem right. So in the Arbuckle Mountains, somewhere running free is the son of that mare Joe Walker gave me. I turned him loose the day that she died. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride. She was no bag of bones, no hunk of hide. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride, y'all.